friends welcome back to tasty mom recipes today we are going to make a pita bread the ingredients needed are you need a big bowl and you need all purpose flour and you need oil olive oil and you need a dry yeast and you need a warm water and a salt to taste and a teaspoon of sugar okay let's get started tablespoon of yeast and and add some warm water i'm adding today is instant yeast and mix all together and then add a 1 teaspoon of sugar and mix it okay today i'm adding a instant yeast So next we are going to add is our all-purpose flour. We have we are going to add a four cups of all-purpose flour. I am adding a four cups of all-purpose flour. So mix all together and add salt to taste and add some olive oil and mix it. Okay, first you mix it with your fork. and then you can mix it with your hand if you have a hand mixer you can do with that you can add a water how much you need it you have to make a soft dough now i finished my kneading and then now I have to cover this dough with the olive oil. So take some oil. You pour some extra olive oil. You knead your dough because the dough should not be dry. So take your dough and keep it down and roll it inside. You have to cover it inside. See. you have to make like a ball see our oil of oil has been absorbed okay dough is ready okay see touch and see the dough should be a soft okay now we are we are going to do is keep your dough inside and cover it so cover the dough and leave it for at least 2 to 3 hours till the dough is completely double the size friends after 2 hours our dough became double in size see now our dough has became a double in size if you touch it those see it will go inside and again fluff it up okay see now you can divide the doughs into a balls so see now i am taking the dough into a ball so that you can make a ball like this and keep it on one side now you can see uh, for the four cups of flour you got uh, 11 balls of pita uh, balls you got for dusting a uh, pita bread you need a uh, one cup of all purpose flour okay let's start now take a balls and dust it with your flour and keep it on a floor or okay then press it slightly it should not be a thick it should be a it should not be a thin it should be a thick okay it should not be a too big it should be in the medium size so that you get the pockets this is the thickness of your uh, pita bread and now we can start putting for that for that you need a medium sized tawa let it get hot 